Okay everyone, hello, welcome back, I'm Matt and last time in the last prison architect video you see we finished off with this style of prison now what we're going to do today is we're going to try and do a couple more grants and we'll see what happens, give me a second there we go, just turn the sound off otherwise it will duplicate over so yeah, we're going to do a couple more grants like the first one we're going to be doing is called Basic Detention Centre and when we click on it you see over here in our to-do list it tells us what we got to do it involves building a holding cell, shower, yard, kitchen, canteen getting two guards and two chefs so next thing we want to do is we're going to get a uh, concrete because it's what the rest of them are made of and we're going to build a um, we're going to build a little building so if we do it 36 by 15 like this um, we'll triple the speed again as we did last time just to make sure that we're actually going to be able to um, watch this and we're going to sit here forever ok um, let's build in so we need a home cell, shower, yard, kitchen, canning, two guards, two chefs so what we're going to make start on eventually once we finish building Leave them building for the moment. Okay, so they've now finished building. Once they walk off, you'll see it converted. And now we've got building again, like this. And um, we're going to have to run power cables into it. Which is nothing to find handle. We're going to in and across like so. And come back to this. They're going to slowly build them now. Um, I don't think they can get to that one now. Oh no, they should be able to get to that. That should be fine. And let them build that. So now we're going to go over to planning and we're going to pause it just so that it. Oh no, we've got a positive cash flow, we'll just leave it running. Okay, so we're going to plan with our walls what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to move this door over and we're going to come in here like this. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put a metal detector there as well so that the people have to walk through a metal detector, which will be alright. And then the next thing we're going to walk into is a small holding cell. So this will just be the holding cell here. And from the holding cell, we'll have a jail door into the canteen. Uh, attached to the back of the canteen will be the kitchen, which is a little bit bigger. And what we'll do as well is we'll add a little shower room on, just like that, onto the holding cell as well. All the rest of the space we will be using for other stuff later. Oh, the yard, I forgot about the yard. Um, what we'll do is we'll carry this corridor up and then we'll put a yard out here, so what we'll do is we'll just have a little yard. Like that. So that'll be our yard now. So what I'm now going to go and do, find some materials, grab a concrete wall, and just cover over everywhere that I've decided to build walls. The plan really does come in handy throughout this game. Depending how you play it, obviously. I find it really handy, but other people may not. And then what I'm going to do is get some grass. And then fence the area off as well. And then just finish up with an object. Uh, gel door at the end. Like so. Gel door here, and gel door here. And let's actually not do that. Let's take the gel door off there. So we're going to dismantle this object. I'm just going to put a regular door in once I'm finished this one. And a regular door there. And then we want the same there because, to be honest with you, I don't mind when they're there. Because this holding cell is. Well, it's exactly that, it's a holding cell. Um, and they're all sort of. Mind about being in here, we're going to dismantle this object and put a jail door on the front of this object here um, we need one of my workmen to go and do it though ok why not let's just do this quick, cancel that, cancel that just grab a jail door, put a jail door in here ok none of them seem to want to do that Okay, what we're going to do for a minute then is demolish a wall here. 
it's now the wall's gone you can see they'll all run in and out they'll all do what they've got to do and I'll finish up all my jobs okay, no one still wants to do this though <laughs> oh there you go so it was the um, staff door from before was over the top still I then need to go into utilities and run the cable over there as well um, apparently no one can reach that Okay, so what we need to do is grab the material and demolish this wall here. That little guy can do it. And they should be able to put all of them in now. Get a concrete wall back. Okay, one other thing I'm going to do is going to grab the staff that we had earlier and we're going to put that here so the staff can get in and out of there as they need to. And move all this around a bit. Just finish clearing up that side. Right. Once they've all finished with their jobs, they've got to clear all the rubbish up, etc. Which I think they're near enough done with. Okay, so they're all done now. Now what we're going to do is grab our room. We're going to make this into our holding cell. Obviously, it's not the, the um, warning to say it's not ready yet, but it will be soon. And we're going to do all of our rooms that we need to do. The yard's done, because all the yard needs is it to be enclosed. It's easy enough for us to do. Our kitchen here and I can eat just here as well. Um, just quickly, I think the canteen may need to be a bit bigger. Um, yes, it does. What we'll do, we'll block some of the um, kitchen off, put a staff door in the top. And then demolish some of the walls. So demolish this wall inside. So this just allows my canteen to be a little bit bigger. And then we'll expand that. Okay, so all of our rooms done. We just need to build the objects in that. So the shower one needs a shower head. And we need to put a drain in as well. Otherwise it will flood. Um, it's got a flash and water symbol, I'll show you in a moment what that means and we're going to do that, so we need a toilet and a bench over in our holding cell so we just expand it just so we've got everything and we'll put the holding cell here and rotate our bench rotate our table just for our canteen, you see one more thing we need is our serving table so it's just one of these once it's rotated the right way and go there and then the kitchen needs a cooker, a fridge and a sink so we take the sink put it there the cooker can go there and the fridge go there like that so now what you'll see once that's done oh we need the toilet as well, we need to put that toilet over in the holding cell ok so we'll put a toilet in as well so now we've obviously got all our flashing symbols that are still and we're going to have a look at doing them now because they're all our utilities that we need to connect up we're going to connect that there, just collect the cooker ok so uh, just need that connected, I oh, know we don't need that connected, that's fine we run the power cable all the way down here like this and hold on Okay, so we've run our power cable, sorry my sound seems to be playing up a little bit, especially when I do that. Okay, so we've run the power cable down, there are fridge and our cooker connected, uh, everything's connected by that. Now we're going to run out of water, oh, I do need just quickly though to put a capacitor in, so we'll put a couple of capacitors in, if you don't, if you don't put enough capacitors in, it will trip your power station and you won't get any more power, all the lights go out, if you've got any uh, right controlled doors, anything like that, they'll all go down as well. Okay, so I'm just going to run my pipe like this, and I'm going to need a large pipe to run into the sink, and then small pipes into the shower head, and then to the toilet. Quickly get materials and 
demolish this wall so they can finish building all the pipes. And we're not connected yet. Let's find out why. The sink. Right, let's just connect that out for an empty. And then put a small pipe there, that should. Yep, so now they're all connected as well. Uh, the only thing hung so it's surrounded by walls and doors. Oh. So that's just because that concrete wall there. Once again put that in. Now you'll see everything's been done, everything's fine, everything's happy. The only way we need to go for right now is just put two guards in and then two cooks as well. Now we've got everything we need and our grants come through.